welcome to Beauty on a Budget. Um, I wanted to share with you today my updated skincare routine because um, it is different and I've added quite a few bits to it since um, I last spoke to you um, and done a video about it. Um, now, just wanted to put in quickly before um, I show you what I use. Um, when you're buying skincare, as with anything, makeup, um, always research your product I know I've said it before but I can't stress it enough always research your product now if you're buying something for instance this is by the ordinary this is the caffeine spray which I'll get on uh, drops which I'll get on to later so when I bought it I researched the ordinary as a company um, I looked for the reviews they put out and then I researched it outside of the company so I looked for reviews that weren't actually connected to the um, company rather an independent review so you can't be ca careful enough really when you when you're looking for skincare because um, once you find a product you normally if it's good you normally stick to it so it's not something you have to research all the time um, I tend to <laughs> but it's it's really worth it because you know there's unfortunately there are a lot of charlatans um, that will put stuff in pretty boxes and it's not really what it says so we really need to be careful of that so my advice to you guys would do that first now then my skincare routine um, let's start with the morning okay so in the morning I only use a micellar water I don't use any other sort of cleanser so I use, and I cannot pronounce this guys, you know what I'm not pronouncing. This is R-E-B-U-E-L-E, -E -E. I think it's Revelu. -E the V's got a little accent. I can't pronounce English half the time guys, no good me trying to pronounce French. Um, and this is a hyaluronic micellar water, or micellar water with hyaluronic acid in it. Um, this is a company that's available in the UK. I hope it's available elsewhere. Um, but it's lovely and light. You can use it on your eyes, on your face, on your lips. I just use this of a night time. Uh, morning, every morning. First thing in the morning, I use that. But there's lots of people that do my cellar waters. Um, I'm using this one at the moment, but I love the Garnier one too in the pink in the pink bottle that's lovely too I like this one because it's got the hyaluronic has hyaluronic acid and you know a little bit extra to help and it's lovely it's very mild and I like that one guys so that's what I do first thing in the morning that's the first thing I use the second thing I put on my face in the morning is I just spoke about it is the caffeine drops this is caffeine solution by the ordinary now I get two little drops on my fingers, tuck together and I just put under my eyes like this and up around the side, around my eyes like this. I just let that and it sinks in and dries in no time at all. So that's the um, first thing I do in the morning. The second thing I do in the morning is the hyaluronic acid drops. Now this particular one is the balance. Um, but I've used, I love Balance, I do like it, but I've used many other makes. Um, and again, when you're buying it, The Ordinary do a beautiful one. Um, I've had that. Um, so when you're looking for it, again, be really, really careful and, you know, do your research on it. But Balance is lovely, you can't go wrong, and The Ordinary, you can't go wrong. They're, they're a really, really good company. I, I recommend them to anybody and they're very budget friendly so I like them then the next thing I put on my face this is in the mornings is I put on um, a vitamin C serum um, this one is 12% plus I'm researching about the percentages and I'm going to come back to you on that um, the importance of different percentages but I'm not up on that enough yet to really sort of tell you exactly what's what but certainly vitamin C serum is absolutely important and I've heard a lot of you lovely ladies on here talking about the 12% plus so vitamin C drops 
Now this is you have to keep in the fridge or at least keep in a very dark cupboard because it's very light sensitive. That's why it's in a brown bottle. Very light sensitive and heat sensitive. So keep it in the fridge or at the very least in the cupboard. Don't leave it on your vanity. Um, I use about four drops. Again like that, tap it into my face. Anything I put on my face. I always include right down. So if I'm talking about something I put on my face, it comes right down in my decollete, decolletage, decollete. I'm with you, Monica. I can't say this. <laughs> so it's down all round here, but include all your chest area. <laughs> so that's the vitamin C. Now the next thing I use um, at the daytime is this is the. Um, Day cream, and this is the argan oil one. It's by that re 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 company, the French company. I'll list it below. I'll list it below. So this is their day cream. Now this is an argan oil, and it comes in the form of a cream, but it really is more of a lotion. It comes out very thin. So watch it when you, you know, if you're taking it out, put it a little bit on the back of your hands. I'll show you actually. Comes out. And it's very very thin so when you put it that far down it just feels like um, a lotion you know or oil or it's not a thick cream so I put about a pea size I put on my hands and again through my fingers and I gently massage that into my neck I always up motions girls I told you that we know that anyway don't we up motions and I put that all over my face and then in the special, a lot of these products contain a sunscreen already. This one does, it contains an SPF of 15. Um, in the winter that's fine, I just use that because, you know, I'm indoors, so that's fine indoors. But if I'm going out, and always in the summer, out or not, I use a stronger SPF. Um, guys, this is so, so important. I want to do a video regarding um, the different rays and you know the multi-spectrum SPF and I want to really look into that for you because it's so important and for myself too. I want to do a real research on that which is something I intend to do over the next couple of weeks and I will get back to you on that. Um, this particular one is Asdazone. It's for sensitive skin. It's for the face or the body, but this I use this one on the face because it is so sensitive. And it's 50, 50 SPF. So it's a high one, guys, but I always go for that in the summertime. Always. Now, that sounds like a lot to go onto your face. That's four things that I put on in the morning. I put on the um, hyaluronic acid, then the vitamin C, and then the argan oil, and then the sunscreen. It sounds a lot, but they're very fine things, very um, soft and very absorbent into the skin so they don't take a lot of time you know I mean my thought if I'd have been watching this video and I wouldn't have known I thought wow well, yeah do you have the time for everything to you know time all that to dry but it doesn't it, it's literally two minutes by the time you've tapped it into your face like this secured the bottle and put it away it's ready for the next one um so it's not a long wait you know in between guys so that's my morning routine. Um, my evening routine is, I haven't got my coconut oil in here. Sorry guys, I forgot to bring that in. Where it's very summery, it's um, coconut oil, well you know guys, it goes, it goes to a liquid, it goes to an oil, and then when it gets cold again it goes solid. So at the moment it's, it's a, still a solid, but it's, you know, sort of a bit runny on top. So I've left it in the bathroom, but I get some, <coughs> excuse me guys, get some coconut oil, put it in the palm of my hand, and I take my eye makeup off, very gently, and then I remove that with a tissue, and then I get a little bit more, um, say, mm, say the size of a large penny, 
Do you know that, guys? I don't know what a dime is or anything like that. I don't know the size of it. <laughs> that size. Um, put that in my hands and then I tap that over my face and I wipe that in and then I wipe the top layer of my makeup off with that. So quite liberal so that you can sort of not rub, never rub your face, but so that you can get that sort of um, enough to be able to massage to get rid of your makeup, yeah, to lift your makeup. So I just do that and then I get a tissue and I wipe that gently off of my face. And then I get into the shower, and in the shower, at the moment I'm using this one, I do use different ones. My favourite one, absolutely, and I will have to order that this week actually, my favourite one is the Balance one. Um, I love that cleanser, it, it's superb. Um, the Balance Active one, but the moment I'm using, this is a good one, I like this one too, this is the Vitamin E Skincare, and it's a hot cloth cleanser. So you put this onto your face, you massage it in a little bit, and then you remove it with a warm, obviously not very hot, they call it hot cloth, but warm, very warm. Um, I use a uh, microfiber cloth, and I wash that off my face with that. So then my face is, to me, completely clean. Um, now twice a week and I only do this twice a week I mean a lot of people do it every day but I'm just saying what I personally do I use a exfoliator and I use the vitamin this is particular one is a vitamin E one it matches the wash but again I like the balance active one there's lots of exfoliators I like go for a lot of ones sometimes can be too harsh a bit like sandpaper on your face to me it is but this one's a nice gentle one. This is the vitamin E one, gentle oatmeal exfoliator. So I get the size again, size of a large penny. I rub that in just between my fingers and then rub it over my face, going gently, avoiding this area. So I just come up to here uh, and then rub it over and I also go down, put maybe a little bit more in and I go down here too. Everything I do on my face, I go down here. So do that and then I put my face under the shower, not very hot water, um, obviously not cold but not boiling hot but you can get under the shower like that could you anyway, it'd be too hot for your body. And I just step that gently and with the cloth I just gently wipe that so my face is completely clean of that. So that's um, what I do say twice a week. Then again twice a week. When I get out of, about twice a week, you know, it's not law, but about twice a week. When I get out of the shower and I dry, I pat dry, um, I put the towel around me because I never rub. I always let, just dry, you know, I always dry in the towel. Um, and about, about twice a week, I use eye patches. These ones are both pretty smooth, um, but you can get these all sort of major chemists do these. Now just patches like this, these come in four packs of four and they're like a gel, just a um, very very soft gel. So put those under your eyes but put them on, I use them also at the same time I use that, I use the vitamin, this is just at the moment, I use the vitamin E face mask about twice a week. This doesn't dry to a hard mask, guys. It's very soft. I think I've shown you this before. I think I've put it on before. When I did my hair, you know the one I put on my face when I did my hair, if you saw that? So I put that all over my face. Thin layer. Down my decollete. But put these on first. And then I work round it with the cream. Because if you put the cream on first, these are not going to adhere. They're not going to stay on your face, they'll just slide off with the cream. But if you put these on first, they'll stay onto your face, but put them on a clean, untreated skin. Um, then I leave that, I suppose about 20 minutes. Um, now this is a, a leave-on mask, so you can uh, actually leave this onto your skin and not 
you know, let it just sink in. But I use a little bit of Marcella water again, um, just to remove the excess because I do my night treatments and I obviously want my night treatments to go into my skin easier, so I don't want that on first as a barrier. Um, but that's what I do about twice a week again. Then every night, it's a palaver, isn't it? <laughs> every night, I use the balance eye cream. You know, guys, I've spoken of this. Um, this is my holy grail. I wouldn't use another eye cream on my eyes. And I put that underneath, all around my eye bags, um, and up onto there, and onto the orbital bone here. And, no, that's the orbital bone, isn't it? Goodness gracious me, some beauty advisor I am. <laughs> I put all that round, and I do that every single night religiously. Um, I would never change. I love that one, guys. Next thing, what do I do next every night, guys? I'm back with hyaluronic acid. So that's twice a day. A few drops again, tap around my face. Down my decollete, let that dry. Takes two minutes, guys. Honestly, it sinks straight into your skin. Then the next thing I use of the night is the Argan Oil Serum. This is um, it's not thin like watery, guys. See, it's like a milky serum. Again, a couple of drops round down my neck, my face, and then the last thing I use of the night is a cream. And I know it sounds a lot, guys. I know it's a lot of layers, but honestly, they go in and they sink into your face, and it doesn't feel like a hot, sticky mess. If you buy the right products, the ones that suit you, it just sink into your face, and it won't feel like a sticky mess. This one's the Lacura, and this is the Q10. Um, this is a night cream, and I use it because it's the retinol. Um, as yet, I haven't had the um, courage to use retin-a um i want to try it i want to try it. it's one of those things it's sort of the main thing really in a lot of people's skincare routine um but at the moment that's kind of the next step up for me i've not done that yet but retinol it does the same thing it just takes a longer period of time to do it so i use the, this retinol last thing of the night um, that's the last thing that I put onto my face. It's a night cream. It's a Q10 night cream, but it contains retinol. So that's the last thing that I put on overnight. And then, before I actually go to sleep, I put some of this on, which is the Vaseline Lip Balm. I like this one for daytime. I like lip balms, but probably more with the colour. Um, but at the night time I like to use this Vaseline one and my lips do feel lovely and soft in the morning and um, I do tend to get quite dry lips and then the very last thing I put on <laughs> guys, wake up, wake up <laughs> have you fell asleep? the very last thing I put on um, is some hand cream at the moment I'm using the Argonol hand and nail cream um, but you can, as long as it's a good cream and you've, you know, looked it up. I've had some nice ones from Avon. Um, the L'Occitane is beautiful hand cream. And um, Boots do one that's been out for years and my mother used it and it's absolutely lovely. It's called Smith's Cremolia and it's a beautiful hand cream. It's in a jar. It's like a white gel in a jar, liquidy gel and... It's fantastic, but you can't always get it. It's hard to get here anyway. But um, that's a great one, guys, if you can get your hands on that one. But this one's very nice too, the Argan Oil. I'm sort of heavy into Argan Oil at the minute. <laughs> so it's a nice one, guys. It's nice and creamy. I always like things that sink in very quickly. And I think that hands are such a giveaway with the age, aren't they? I think your hands, you know, you can tell someone's age by that, not that I care, but, <laughs> you know, how old I am, but the, I think you can give that away, your hands, you know, your hands are always looking older, aren't they? So, and they're a bit, mine are quite neglected, really, I'm a naughty girl with my hands, and I don't use my washing up gloves, and I should, 
but um, yeah, it sinks nicely in. It smells gorgeous. So that's it, guys. That is my skincare update. Now, I'm sure you must have had at least two cups of coffee to keep you awake during this. <laughs> but I just wanted to share with you what I use, guys. And I know it does seem like a palaver, and it seems like an awful lot. But the outcome is, and these are not expensive products, guys. You know I never use, I can't use expensive products. Um, but they're products I use. And sometimes it's not the price, you know, it's the consistent using keep using doing it all the time um i know it's hard sometimes it is but once you get into the routine you know it takes me five minutes it just one after the other and it just takes and it's so worth the outcome is so worth it and um you know of course we all have nights oh just you know I'll just go to bed and leave it tonight but i never go to bed with my makeup on um and however tired I am, the, the, you know, I always feel like five minutes is not going to make that much difference to just quickly go through my routine. And and that's my advice to you guys. You know, more so than makeup, and I've said that before, if you look after the canvas, then the makeup goes on better. And, you know, you can afford to use a, 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 a cheaper drugstore make because just canvas is so good. And um, so... Always look after your canvas, guys. That's what I say. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that, guys, and it wasn't too boring for you. Um, let me know what you use, what you think, because I'm up there for advice, you know, guys. I've got advice from you as much as I give it to you. I've taken it from you as well. And I've got some lovely advice, and a load of these things I use because of you guys I would never have thought of before. So um, what have I got on my neck? A bit of green gel. Oh well, add to the um, decolletage. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you again on Tuesday. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. As always, I hope you're with the people that you love. And take care of yourselves and I'll see you Tuesday. And thanks for watching me and subscribing to me and giving me thumbs up. I love you all. Bye.